So you might be wondering how much omega-3 do I need to take to get from where I'm at now to the eight to 12% zone? This is a question that will actually be answered by trial and error at the end of the day. You're going to have to experiment with your diet and see what gets you to eight to 12%. However, we wanted to try to help people have a better idea of how much EPA and DHA they will need to reach their goals by using some of the data that we have. And so we recently published a paper about um, estimating how much EPA and DHA a person would need to go from essentially 4% to 8%. And we've also included this calculator, the omega-3 and index calculator on our website. So you can go to our website and you can put in what level your omega-3 index is now and you can put in the level that you want it to be and we'll give you an estimate of how much EPA and DHA you should take per day to get to that target point. Typically for most average people having a five or six percent omega-3 index you could need to have a thousand milligrams of EPA and DHA a day um, and that number will vary based on where your starting point is. The other important thing to remember here is that you don't actually have to take omega-3s every single day. You can think about it as taking it weekly. So if you end up only needing to have 500 milligrams a day, then you can take um, a supplement that you can take up to 3000 milligrams um, in a day and then not take it for a few days. It's kind of simulating eating fish, eating fish two or three times a week. You're not having it every day necessarily, but you're still um, averaging over the week that EPA and DHA dose. So that might be a little confusing, but it helps to think about supplements and fish intake in the same vein of you can take a higher dose one day and if you forget the next day, it's okay.